Greetings everyone and welcome back to Sorcery 4, the Crown of Kings. Well, I don't really have much to say from the beginning, so let's just move on. Our adventure awaits. There is no time to waste. You climb over the rim of the crater, then you skid and slide several feet down through a row slope, finally landing on what appears to be a path. You are uninjured, but there is no way back up. A path leads down into the crater here. Another trail leads north to the south around the rim. The path down into the crater is wider and more beaten down than you might have expected. This is not the main road to Mapang, but this trail must still see some of use. Time to continue. Yeah, I think this will be a wise thing to do, as I plan. We're gonna go first here, and then eventually gonna check this place and see if game lets me, and I think it will let me go back to explore it. A few clouds drift across the sky, you follow the trail until it becomes a last under a fixed camp. Scrub. Through the scrub. You fight through the scrub that fills the crater basin. A short distance ahead you spy a large black bundle hanging from a tree. The bundle is long, at least 6 feet tall and jet black. It sways slightly as it dangles from the branch. As you get closer you notice a chain running from the bundle to a stake in the ground. You also notice the bundle is somewhat hairy. Oh no, is this a jeb jeb? <laughs> Looking closer you spot a large pink mouth with a long snout. It is a giant bat, much larger than a those in the Shamutanti hills. Thankfully, it is still asleep, hanging upside down with his wings folded around the creature snores deeply. Hmm, so it's... it's like someone's butt. You follow the chine with your eyes, from the ground to the bat's leg. It has enough length to let the bat fly to the tree, but not much further. Who'd trap a giant bat in the middle of the crater? Yeah, this is a good question. I wonder is there any spell I could use? Hmm. Sense danger, that could be... I mean, I don't think I need spell to tell this is like not safe to fight a giant bat probably. Hover in air. That could be good to do just so I can sleep and don't make any noise. Create wind. Well, that wouldn't... That would be not a good way to wake him up, I guess. And find a safe passage. I think this is Al. We're just here to pick. I think I'm gonna go with Zen. Just... Just in case. You cast the enchantment and the medallion begins to glow as you rise gently up into the air. The chained bat has not yet tired. Perhaps you can float past and notice. Tickering your pack, you begin to glide past the creature and sleep soundly as you float past the tree. The trail runs in both directions through the crater. You ride the tombs and you settle Jeruali back down to the ground as the morning moves on. The wind begins to rise, a thin plume of smoke rises to the east. From what you can make out, the smoke seems to be rising steadily but thinly. It is more like mist than smoke from a bonfire. You slip onwards through the crater. Yeah, let's, ch let's, check, the, let's check the smoke. You break from the trail and head across the loose dirt towards the rising smoke. The air begins to get warm. Sweat tickles down your back as you get closer to what appears to be cracked deep in the earth. You make your way carefully to the fissure's edge. It is almost pleasantly warm here, with soft moss underneath. Your feet superheated steam bars up every few minutes with a hiss. 
There's something else on the air too. The sound of the wind, surely not voices. Straining to listen, you make out distinct voices coming from the deep inside the vent. It is like standing on a balcony above a room full of whispering people, all crowding for attention at the edge of your hearing. But how can anyone survive down there? Should we ask who's there? The vent is jagged, crud in the air. The black stone is deeply cut, strange shapes flicker within the rising jets of steam, seemingly murmuring, the voices mutter and curse. I think sense danger might be nice here. Oh, nap. That will be easy to remember to spend room. Yeah, let's do sense danger. Looking to the constellation overhead, you craft the spell and a familiar calm voice begins to speak to you. There is little to fear here. Ehos, nothing more. Its message delivered the spell fades. There are no creatures near the vent, despite the warmth it provides. So this is not a people, it's just a echo. Who's there you call out? The voices become louder in response, crowding over each other, but they are speaking a language you do not recognize. Eh, I think we are done here. <laughs> As you turn, you hear something approaching from behind you. A voice murmurs in your ear. Ah! There you are! Then you feel the fine presence of a hand resting across your back. Huh? You sit up sharply. To find a glowing presence holding a curved dagger that is, has been stroking up and down your back. It is a dead wrath. Wrath. Writhed. <laughs> Leering at you from under its dead mask. Greetings, my savior. It declares with a familiar chuckle it is brave you fret from the abandoned inn. Now, I see it wants me to fight it right away. Can we like tag? Can't we, like, you know, be buddies? I mean, I can do magic tricks and stuff. Uh, I have bad feelings about fighting her. Luckily, in the first sorcery, or was it the second one, we pick up the silver sword, which is a good stuff fighting <laughs> all kinds of undead people, especially ghosts and stuff. So, I would say, time to do it. Time to fix our mistake. Which happens way earlier than I expected to face her, but... There she is. You draw your short silver sword ready to shred the foul abrasion. Oh, because I have... I don't have... Ah, the amount of stamina I have, it's based on... On the sword I'm using, I think. It's not... not... I mean not stamina, I mean my attack power. Let's do this. I did rest at this many times because that lady hits like a fucking truck. <laughs> I get like 4 damage in one hit at some point. Jesus. But yeah, after a longer while, I kind of figured out what to do so. You must not give in. You had the dead ref with the sword with a final strike. I can speak freft, breft, roft, freft, rift. Fuck it. With a final strike, the creature wires and moans, seeming to vanish in on itself. The air is suddenly a little warmer to stamina lost the skilled third play. Oh, I'm not trying that again. This is as best I can do, honestly. There is no need to clean your weapon. The dead breath has left nothing behind but wisp of smoke. The air cools as you move away from the vent. This was a quite challenging fight, but it wasn't as bad as I was afraid it will be. 
You make your way around to the front of the low building. As the sun climbs the sky, the winds rise. You put hand on the frame as you step through the listening doorway. You enter the crumbling building and is missing its roof, so we are exposed to the sky. With the great care you search the rest of the room but find nothing of interest. The building is quite empty but carved on one wall is what appears to be a scratched message. You read over the message. Fear spe that the Torben door is L of Invis. Curious. Torben door is... I think it says something about invisible doors. Doors. Invisible doors. Fear spell. Should we pause to pray? I mean, at worst case, it will just heal me. But I won't be able to play to today anymore. Hmm. The doorway beckons, but you are not ready to move on yet. The open sky fanned by the edge of the building quiets your thoughts. You close your eyes and rise a prayer to the fox. You feel a great sense of calm overcome you. You are close to Mapak, but can still know a moment of peace. Then there is nothing more here to find. You slip outside of the edge building and back into the light. You have found one new clue. Oh, so this was a clue regarded to maybe getting inside the mafang. Interesting. You step back out on the try and look around once more. Path, path lead in several directions. Now my question is why? <laughs> Why do you have so much options here? It doesn't seem like there is anything. Eh, let's let's do like a round way before closing this episode. You head back through the screw towards the crater rim. The sun bakes the ground. Time to keep moving. Okay. I mean the prayer almost refreshed my stamina till the fullest. So this is a good thing. I don't want to climb the s slope. Do I? You know, this might be not a bad idea. Clean the slope and just move on to this place. How bad of climb is it? Will I lose my stamina doing that? Hell no. You scramble up the slope on hands and knees until you reach the peak of the crater rim. You pause for breath for just a moment and then sighted down to the ground on the far side. You slide it down onto the path around the crater's rim, then brush the grey dust from your clothes. Looking ahead, the path continues to carve. There is some kind of hazy shape up ahead, barely visible through that thin smoke that hangs around the edge of the crater. You peer into the middle of distance and make out a hut. It is no kind of shelter and seems to be open to the elements. A thin bell tower rises from its roof bruise. Bell tingling in a little in the wind. You must keep moving. You are too exposed up here. Great! That will be a nice place to explore in the next episode. I think that was fairly decent progress maybe. We did discover some stuff. You approach the hut squinting against the dust in hope of spotting any danger. This has a wide windows and empty doorways, allowing the wind to whip right through. The wind gently swings the bell on the roof. Well, so that's a bit of sneak peek what we're gonna see in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. We did fix what we screw over, so this is a good thing. We did kill the breath. Raft. Raft. Fuck me! Who designed this fancy words? I can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Oh man, we, are, we we actually played like Evolve with my friends and there is this monster you can play as which is the Rift <laughs> and they just fucking lost the ass off because like I couldn't just spoke this word like at all I just can't I trying but it's more I try it just gets worse <laughs> Yeah, take care guys. I'm gonna see you with more sorcery next Friday Hope you enjoyed, let me know if you did, and for now, farewell.